we have a coffee maker here. Uh, the switch is still working, but the indicator stops indicating. Oh, uh, today we're going to uh, have a look uh, of this uh, to see if we can repair it. To remove the switch, we just have uh, two screws at the bottom. So the screw is just here. Just remove them. So after the screw removed, we just can remove this uh, uh, power switch uh, cover like this. So now you can see the cable. Just to remember, so you can see the power switch here and labeled 1, 2, 3. Remember, it's facing just forward, facing the front. And also the orientation of the switch. So the indicator is on the left to the that circle. So also remember uh, the wires, just uh, when you put it back, just exactly the same. So uh, we cannot remove the wire now. To remove the wire, just uh, uh, pull them out like this. Remember which is which. So this side we have a two and the other side we have one wire. So we need to label uh, this side. It's quite difficult to remove. Okay, it's all locked. So this is in the middle and that's on the side. We're going to label that. I just use a piece of paper, say side, and get onto this uh, wire. And the left is okay, so this is in the middle. To remove this switch, you can see there's a two tabs over here. They are squeezable. You squeeze this, then push this switch out from the top of this uh, cover. So this is a, a round rocker switch. You can just uh, operate that way. So you can see there's the rocker, uh, there's the hole here, and there's the hole on the other side. And actually this is the button. There's the uh, two like sharp things get into that hole, and there's another one get into the hole. So to remove this button, the rocker, we need a screwdriver to press over here, just uh, near the hole, and we can get this uh, rocker out of this uh, switch. Just uh, need the button, and then just uh, try to pry that way to get that uh, rocker shaft out of the case. So you can see that the rocker case and there's the shaft thing over there. So this is the rocker shaft from the top cover of the button. So the button here is just a, a red plastic. And inside here we can see a bulb. So that bulb should be a neon bulb. So we can take that small white thing out. So you can see we have assembly here. And outside here we have a resistor. And we have a contact points in the middle. That is also rocking and a slide inside the switch over there and uh, this is a 
one connection, and this side, this is a the other connection here through a spring. You can see there's a spring over there from the case. That spring get in there, and the rocker that two points to make the indicator working. If we have another look inside this, uh, yeah, you can see the contact point, there's the rocker copper thing, uh, the contact from the middle can slide over there. So that's make uh, the lower two connect together or not. So that's the structure of this switch. So what's wrong with this? And I think uh, it should be the resistor. So there's the bulb. The bulb should be okay. And there's the resistor here. So we can try to remove them. And this uh, slider. Yeah, this can be removed. So that okay. There's another spring as well. So inside there. Yeah, nothing special. It's just uh, the resistor getting into that hole, and uh, that small spring contact with the uh, one side of the resistor, and the bulb connect to the with the resistor, and the other end of the bulb get connected from this 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 square hole. So let's remove the bulb and the resistor to see if they're okay. Okay, if you look at here, so that's the end of the bulb. It's just uh, twisted there uh, for the connection with the spring. We just uh, try to make that straight and then I think we can pull out uh, the bulb. Yeah, we also need to get out of the resistor on this side. So just uh, pull this uh, resistor and through the, through the cut over here, so the resistor wire can be out. Just make a little bit straight. And now we can so get them out. Okay, so you can see that is the structure. Uh, so we have the neon bulb and the resistor. So they are connected together. So then we can check uh, this uh, uh, resistor. So now we can use a multimeter to check the resistor. The multimeter is set to the highest uh, ohm position. So there's nothing. So it's a broken. So open circuit, the resistor. So we can find the resistor and uh, replace this resistor. And so you can see this is uh, just uh, the bulb and the resistor is just uh, welded together. So we we have to solder another resistor similar value to here we can find out uh, the resistor value uh, the resistor value we can see there's some uh, ring colors on the resistor actually the first one is brown the second one is blue the third one is yellow and the final one for tolerance is gold. Uh, I have an app here 
So you just enter the uh, brown, brown, the first one, the first band. We select the brown. The second band, we select uh, blue. And the third band, we select uh, yellow. That's the value 160k ohm. We're trying to find uh, a similar resistor. Uh, with that value and uh, you can uh, also find out uh, the value of a resistor if you have a uh, color rings on the resistor uh, from the internet the I just found the uh, old resistor which is 180 kilo ohm uh, I put it uh, to this uh, breadboard and you can see I just uh, make it a contact to the uh, broken to the open resistor the other end and then this side I connect to the power this is dangerous if you do this uh, uh, don't do this if you do this you need to be uh, very careful so we have this uh, 240 watt power supply and to this breadboard so the neon bulb is okay, so we just need to uh, replace that uh, resistor. I'm going to uh, solder it in. I have got a new resistor connected. The old one is still there, and my new one is here. So hopefully it's okay, so connector. A middle connector and we have that spring and a slider and the side connector where we're going to have the spring into that square hole it should be okay so we can try to reassemble uh, this so we just need to put this uh, spring and a slider into this hole So this should be okay. So we just put this uh, switch cap on here. I have this slider all right. There's a spring inside. And then we have this uh, inside the spring get into the square hole. Yeah, that's more like it. So make a one leg, a one shaft into the hole. And then we can do the other side, whichever. Yeah, this side in, and this side is out. So we can try to just uh, press, pry it in to the case. Give the case a little bit of push. So this is the uh, old resistor. I cut it off after I found it. If uh, I, I keep it uh, in, inside the switch, it uh, seems the switch is not operating properly. So finally I got it in. So uh, the last time I just uh, put the white bit uh, in first and then push the cap. Just to push the cap into there and should be located uh, into uh, the holes two sides. Now it's, uh, it's operating. Seems... Uh, Fine to me. Okay, so we can put it back. Put this uh, switch back uh, into the cover so we can see one, two, three facing front. And we just uh, put uh, into the slot and press it into the position so that's now get into the switch cover so now we can connect the switch just in the original order the left left side in the middle wire in and the side wire in. So 
So now the top all clipped in, and then we just uh, put the uh, two screw back in. And the other one. So now we can uh, have a test to see if this indicator is working. Uh, we have a plug over here. Let's get into there. On, oh, on. Oh, oh. So it is repaired. And uh, if you don't like the trouble, okay. The whole switch is about uh, two pounds, three pounds from uh, eBay, so you can buy one. Uh, because of this time I found uh, the eBay is available, so I I was not worried about if I can repair it or not. Just uh, have a try, and now it is uh, repaired. So just uh, replace the resistor and the neon light. It's okay. Thank you for watching.